So Sue, you've just come back from Nelson, mm -hmm. and birthday present for myself. And it's a, it seems like a hard concept for people to understand what this show is and what it's about, dance, theater, music. How would you describe it now? Yeah, it's music theater in its finest. Um, I was unsure really myself until I kind of got to the, pro the process. Um, the beautiful thing about the program is that it really is not just dance, it's not just music, it's not just the, the acting, but this melding together where everybody becomes one with it. It, it was such a wonderful experience to be a part of. In the past uh, several months, because we've been working on this for close to a year, um, the musicians have been hard at work learning their music and we've had the odd rehearsal together and then of course Hero has been hard at work at basically writing and designing the whole thing and his frustration has been oh these musicians they're never around to help me with the process and and are they really going to have it together and he was very worried for a while um, but the, the cool thing was then musicians as we are we come totally prepared to lay it down and when we got there for a few days before the performance he relaxed and it was wonderful to watch him just embrace the music and uh, and it just yeah, became a terrific mm -hmm. process. So we have a friend, a mutual friend locally who says, uh, you know Bill they're harvesting in our row now. <laughs> Which sort of means that that notion of some of us are in the as David Suzuki calls the death zone, mm -hmm. and and then some of us have got our parents who are getting ready to pass away, um, end of their lives, and some of us have got our grandparents, etc. So, so should you be afraid of this show around death and dying because that's really what it's exploring? It's a yeah, hero dies the very first five minutes of the show, so you have to wonder, but um, it's poignant but it's also funny. I, I actually get thrown under the blanket for a short period of time. Don't give show. anything away now. Oh no, I'm not giving no, anything no. away. But I, I got to um, watch, so I'm not playing, but I get to watch through the blanket. And I find myself moved, I mean it's, I'm laughing under the blanket, but and then, uh, and then five minutes later I'm almost in tears. And then, and then when Allison comes out to sing, and I really have to check my emotions because it is so moving. Having said all that, it's, it's everything. It's an, a lovely emotional ride. And the comments that I had after the show were, you know, yes, I was almost brought to tears, but what an important piece this is. That's, that's the message I kept getting. At, and it's, yeah, we need to think about this stuff. Why are we, we don't want to run away from it. And Hero brings it to, um, to us with, with humor and with grace. Mm -hmm. And I think, what more could you ask? And is it because of the, the, I was thinking of his Japanese heritage and, and that, is it a different approach, Western, oh, it, it, to dying yes, and, and there? Yes, it is a different yeah. approach. And he does, uh, I can't give anything away, of yeah. course, but he definitely um, deals with that in a few lines in the show um, that make you laugh again. I, at least I do. Um, but yes, it, it, we all the cultures are going to treat it differently. And I think that's what he's exploring to a large extent and it very successfully I think we really leaves you something to think about um, but but not scary at all just lovely what did it feel like to be part of a world premiere ah that was um, yeah it's exciting very yeah. exciting I um, I kind of hope that to, that golden isn't the end of the show yeah. and we, we are talking about possibilities for for other shows so yeah it's a it's an important work that I think um, people who recognize it might need to go to a few more uh, theaters around. Let's hope. 